making breakfast. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy G-R-A-J-E-S-M. Oh. And uh, making a little bit of breakfast. So, I got my oatmeal. We're not fasting today. Uh, so all I did was take some oatmeal, uh, a little bit of cinnamon, there you go. Oatmeal, a little bit of cinnamon, some uh, uh, hemp seed, and some flax seed. They say it's supposed to be good for your heart. You know, they got heart issues, you know, in the family, people dying and stuff. And uh, a little bit of sugar. Yeah, sweeten it up. That's uh, how this morning is looking. I'll see you guys when I'm ready to go to work. See you guys. See you, baby. Be careful. Okay? All right. <sighs> Another day. But I want to talk about uh, something that's going on in the world. It's a little country called Libya. We're going to talk about Libya. And Libya used to be ruled by a guy named Muammar Gaddafi. Um, History will tell us that Muammar was a dictator and, you know, this horrible guy. But, was he really that bad? You see, before Muammar Gaddafi, because he was in power for like 40 years. So, before Muammar, Libya's uh, healthcare was trash. Um, their education was trash. Their resources were, you know, pretty much trash. Uh, under Momar, what he was able to do was, you know, establish free health care, um, free electricity. The gas cost them 14 cents a gallon. Um, he was able to, you know, improve the standard of living in Libya, you know, above any other African nation. He was able to have it so that in a family, let's say newlyweds, when they went to go get their first house or apartment, they got like sixty thousand um, dollars, you know, to help their families get started, which is insane. Um, he was also uh, able to set up a system of currency that would have catapulted them and, and other African nations, you know well above, you know, most other nations out there. Well, maybe not above, but he, he would have catapulted them, you know, into an area where they had a fighting chance. So, was Muammar Gaddafi really that bad of a guy? A lot of people will say, well, you know, he was torturing his own people. Um, people were being, you know, uh, you know, like, like all the dictator stuff. So, when I really think about that, I look at America and the whole reason behind Colin Kaepernick taking a knee is that there are blacks in America who are being mistreated. You know, they uh, were being targeted, they were, um, uh, they're being killed, nothing's being done, you know, to help, you know, rectify the situation. Uh, you know, the police officers are shooting, you know, black people, you know, when they have their backs turned to the cop, and then nothing happens to that cop. Like, it's crazy. But, we don't have other countries coming in to bomb America, or take down America, when these kind of things are happening here. So why would we go do that in another country? Well, the gold denarii. So the gold denarii was going to be, it, it, well it is, Libya's form of currency. And uh, they were going to put a little bit more money in Libya's pocket by basing the price of their oil off of the denarii. Instead of pricing it off of, uh, you know, the, the, the world banks, uh, such as uh, yeah, like the Rothschilds and all that other kind of, you know, stuff. So, America saw that as a threat, and uh, whenever we see something as a threat, you know, we react. So, 
uh, that's exactly what happened. And uh, we didn't actually kill Muammar Gaddafi. What we did was, so, so the, way, the way the story goes, the rebels were, you know, closing in on uh, Gaddafi's, um, I guess, compound or whatever. And the U.S. drone started snitching. There was a drone, and it was like, yo, he right over here. And then that's when, you know, some other force had shot the, uh, the caravan that was, uh, you know, that, that was uh, housing Gaddafi. And then the rebels came in and, uh, you know, they finished the job. But that's crazy because when we really think about you know, what went on, we out here playing snitch. So, what I would like to do is just bring light to the fact that we have enemies around the world because of stuff that we've done. Gaddafi may have not been you know, the best leader. But what he was able to do was, you know, incredible for his people. What a lot of people don't realize is that kind of thing doesn't happen all over the world. You know, like where you take a bad, you know, a poor country and make it into a rich country. When that kind of thing happens, the rich countries get a little bit upset and they want to start taking out that poor country. That's exactly what they've done. So now, uh, the country is so poor, the, uh, the groups that were being held together by Gaddafi are now fighting each other. So it's like this huge civil war, and different militias. And there are people in other countries of Africa, because Africa is not a country, it's a continent, and they're trying to escape. And they're being sold and, you know, used as sex slaves and labor and all that kind of stuff, just so that people can have more money. Everybody is chasing money and chasing power, and, you know, it just sucks. But it was just something that, you know, I wanted to get off my chest. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about, you know, taking out the head of, of a country and then having everything else fall apart once he's, uh, you know, out of power? You know, is that something that, you know, you think we should be doing? Another thing, where are you spending your dollar? What kind of light bulbs do you have in your house? Do you have GE light bulbs? Did you know that GE is, is uh, linked to a defense contractor? In other words, they make money off of war. So every time you buy a light bulb, you're buying, you're, you're, you're supporting a company that makes money off of war. And then, like what happened in uh, in uh, Libya, those rebels that I talked about, they actually got support from the Saudis. And the Saudis were convinced by, uh, you know, the U.S. and the, and, uh, and the United Nations. And when you convince somebody, you don't just say, hey, you know, would you guys like to, you know, be awesome and uh, give some guns to these rebels? No, no. There was some money involved. So where did that money come from? A lot of stuff we got to start thinking about. Um, and it's going to make it difficult, you know, to buy anything in America. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm actually going to try to clean up my truck a little bit. I got a bunch of extra wires in the back uh, that I need to get rid of. So, talk to you guys later. So, I wanted to kind of take a break and uh, just tell you to keep it carb. Your body naturally runs on carbohydrates. Keep it carb. Well, it's the end of the day and uh, I didn't talk much. You know? I don't know, I was just in a weird mood. So, I'm heading to the house, edit this stuff up, and, uh, you know, send it out to you guys. Alright, so we about to walk in the house. Remember what happened yesterday. My daughter shot somebody in the butt. So we'll see what happens today. You watching? Who got shot in the butt? Ah, uh, okay. Jay's not talking about shooting people in the butt today. Ah! <laughs> I'm my nails done. Oh. <laughs> Don't flip over the couch like that again. So, 
Yet another day of vlogging has come to an end. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so, so, weird. so, yet another day of vlogging is all done. This is your boy GRJSM. Oh, and I'm mad.